This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I just got a great package from Lock Noob over in the UK. Let me take you through what he sent me, and then we will find one of these locks to pick open. First, we have a Zone Euro Profile Cylinder. Looks like it has a Yale style keyway and six pins, so it should be a little bit of a challenge. Next, we have a older Lockwood padlock with a brass shackle and a five pin core. Looks very, very nice. The next one I've never even heard of before. It's this Matlock model 3855. And what's unique about it is that it has that cross lock core. And according to the packaging, this came to me brand new in its package from Lock Noob. It has four rows of four pins, so it's a 16 pin lock. Should be a lot of fun opening up. Next, we have an absolutely massive chunk of brass right here. It's a Yale model 851 padlock, another lock he sent to me brand new in its packaging. Then we have a Union half Euro profile cylinder. Looks like it may have been snapped at some point. Then we have, I believe, a generic Chinese 1100 clone. This also came to me new in its packaging, and this is it. Obviously, it looks like it's made for the German market, and I don't know if Basic is the brand of the lock or perhaps even a store brand. So if someone does know, please put that in the comments below. And finally, we have a Mauer seven pin, I'm sorry, seven lever safe lock. Probably beyond my abilities, I don't spend very much time on lever locks these days outside of the Ingersoll locks, which I absolutely love. So, awesome group of locks here. Lock Noob, thank you very much for sending everything my way. What are we going to open? I think definitely not that. We'll save this for our series on 1100 clones. I am up in the air. Let's give this guy a shot. This is the Matlock 3855. Let's move everything else out of the way and see if we can get into this. I don't think I've picked a cross lock on video since I did the Angal round body padlock. Let's see, we get a 50 thousandths pry bar and these aren't very difficult locks to pick normally. All you have to do is just keep going around and methodically checking all the pins as we go through. So I'm on two, three, four. Just flip the pick around. One little click out of two. Nothing on three or four. Nothing on one, two, three, four, two. Okay, nice binding on three and click out of four, back to where I started. Nothing on one, two's loose. Nothing on three or four. Nothing on one. I think I might have gotten a click out of two. Definitely got something out of three, nothing on four. It on one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. Two. Click out of three. And click out of four. Okay, got a little movement on the core. Let me go here first. One, two, Three, no, nothing there. One, okay, two's binding. Click there. Three. And four, and I think, yep, we got it open. Okay, so all standard pins in this Matlock 3855. And what an interesting little lock. I absolutely love, let me look at the keys. Love these cross locks and come on, focus. There we go. And we look at the bidding, it does look like four pins on each side. It actually looks like there's only two cuts 
a high and a low. So probably not a whole lot of bidding combinations, but with 16 pins, I'd imagine just two cuts probably gives you a lot of options anyway. So Lock Noob, thank you very much for sending all these great locks my way. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.